Hey everyone, just wanted to give you an update of my farm tank and the baby rainbows. Uh, they're growing, you can really see them a lot more now. Uh, I just wanted to show you I put some new plants in there and uh, I got a nice lotus plant here in the front that's really starting to take off. Uh, the back I've got some Luigia Rippins and uh, a little piece of Monty over there by the strainer. Some Java moss in the back. And I put a couple of auto cats in here. Uh, I've got a real neat uh, horned nitrate snail. And uh, I don't see him now. But... Uh, He's really kind of neat. I just wanted to give a short update. I'll try to scoot over and show you a little more of the other side. There's some more of the plants and stuff. And so far it's been working pretty good. And the duckweed has pretty much covered the tank a couple times and I just take it out and uh, clean it, uh, give it some uh, room or light for the other plants. I'm just using a, just a regular compact fluorescent light, a 65K daylight bulb. You can see the little babies running around. I'll go up and there you go. Just kind of wanting to show you an update of how it's how it's doing. It everything so far seems to be great. I got some little crypts coming up right there. Uh, I'm not sure, but I think them might be some bronze ones that I had. Um, I've got a little bit of dwarf sedge over here in the right in this area over here. And, yeah, it's not really dying, but it's not really doing too much. But it's probably not getting enough light. Uh, I really want to get this moved outside uh, to a shady spot where I'll have about oh, it'll probably going to be about six hours of direct sunlight a day, and the rest of the day it'll be just, it'll be shaded and won't be direct. I was worried that you know, it would get too hot if it just totally had a lot of can't see up underneath there oh there's the little horn nitrate snail you can see him on the wall he's pretty cool He's just doing his job and working away. So, well, I don't want to keep this too long. I'll move the camera here and show you what the top kind of looks like. There's the top there. I took out a, a pretty good bowl of duckweed a while ago. Kind of stirred it up quite a bit. So, and actually, this is actually bedtime I had the lights on out here this evening there we go trying to not make such a shaky film had a little tripod I was using so well there you go uh, I'll keep you updated and let you know how everything's working out. We'll talk to you later. Thank you. Oh, by, uh, I want to give a shout out to DIY Fish Keepers and uh, all my friends there and everybody else on YouTube that, that helps me, uh, gives me ideas.
a lot of them have a lot of nice planted tanks and this is just a farm tank so I can raise some fish uh, or fish so I can raise some plants for another tank I'm going to set up in the fall maybe and uh, it's ended up being a fish tank because I didn't know I had rainbow eggs in the java moss wall And it's just kind of, the job moss just kind of hanging in there, so it's not doing a whole lot. Okay. Take care.